Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I want to show you a very quick flip through of my new reading uh, journal. Um, I've been struggling a lot uh, with reading in the last few months and I think it's because I've just been like burned by social media uh like it's it's crazy like you start scrolling and you mean to be on your phone for 30 seconds and then you end up uh, staying there for hours so um i want to go back to read uh, consistently um and i thought that using a journal for that uh would be nice and um uh so uh if you like this video uh please subscribe for more um, and we'll start right away. Um, so first thing first, let's just look at this gorgeous, gorgeous um, uh, notebook from Archer and Olive. Uh, it's one of the um, uh, collaboration that they did um, in the spring. And it has like this cool uh, coffee cup, which is perfect for reading because when I read, I always usually drink coffee or tea, something like that. Um, so um let's just start right away here's like my cats probably destroyed this a little bit anyway i just attached some um paper on uh, on the first pages which i like a lot because it gives the sort of feeling of um a book uh and uh, i really just cut it out i don't have any tools other than scissors so I just cut them out and attach it with glue um, and then uh, just add some, added some uh, washi tape here to give again that idea of like an old book. Um, so at the beginning, I just have a quick doodle here of trees just because I like these two colors together and uh, I like, I'm obsessed with doodling trees. And here there's a um, quote from Raymond Carver, which is one of my favorite uh, writers. And I love this quote. I read it all the time on my journals. And pretty much it's about reading something and have that little moment when you sort of like, you go deep down in the story and then you close your book and you move on with your life. Definitely recommend Carver, please read all his short stories is a genius he was a genius anyway so first page doodle and a quote and then i have an index this index i don't know if i'm going to use it or not i always try to use index and then i end up not to but i thought it would be uh, good with this in case i want to go back on all the um on a particular book that I read so to, to, to look at it. So I started, let's see how it goes. And for this page, I just made a little frame all around, uh, index, some washi tape, and here there's two little rectangle, uh, rectangles <laughs> for um, the page number, which I'm gonna do for all the pages because this um, Archer and Olive notebooks, they don't have, don't have um, numbers which i really don't mind because depending on the journal sometimes i, I want to put numbers there sometimes i don't need them so it's great like that um so here there's the index and then there's this long 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 list of books that i have to read that i actually own and i still have to finish it as you can see i i got only to part of the c so I divided it by um, a letter of the, which is like the same order that I have it in my bookcase. Um, so by a name, last name of the author, of, of, of the writer. So I wrote them here in the same number. So you have A, B, C, D and the old alphabet. Um, and I just changed the colors of this. Uh, this is, I believe is a my liner. Um, or you can use also a, um, a Crayola Super Tip, something that is like not too dark so that you can write on and you can still see. Um, and I'm using this um, uh, Paper Made um, Flare pens uh, to write the actual um, book information on. So you can see the same thing, a very uh, quick and um, 
easy title with a marker and then just some washi tape different color of washi tape um not i didn't go like too crazy with doodles or anything like that because i need a space for the list so there's like i have to finish all this these are like the actual numbers of books that i have each line so yes it's pretty long um anyway so here it's it's a little page same sort of frame with the page number uh washi tape very easy title um and this is for the books that i want to buy so whenever somebody uh, suggested suggests me a book and i find it that interesting and i want to remember to buy it because i'm trying not to buy anymore until i sort of like reduce this list uh, but I want to write down uh, what I can potentially like and buy um, later on. So this is a page for that, which is nice to have. So here, it's a big mess. It's a big mess. So uh, I started again to read War and Peace. And I don't know if you ever uh, read it, but there is a lot, lot, lot of characters. Um, and they're all connected to each other. Uh, so I wanted to have a space where to write down um, all the characters and sort of like connect them in, um, as I read the, the book. So I found this actually very useful. I know that it's a mess, but I don't care because all it matters here is helping me just focus and keep reading. I don't care about this looking too pretty. Um, so here, this is something that I'm going to do for every read, uh, book that I read. I don't know if I'm going to do the characters that depends on the book because some books, you know, there's not that many, uh, but I'm definitely going to do the new, a new word page and a quote page. So new words is like, I am, um, English is my second language. So I often find words that I don't know and I want to remember them so I can learn them and use them lately, um, later on. So um, I, I made this page so I can write down the these words that I don't know, the meaning, and so I have them there and it's good to go back and look at them. And then quote, I always like, you know, I, f I highlight sometimes uh, like some nice um passages from books but i always like i don't really go back to look at them because you will have to grab the book from the bookshelf and then go look for for the quotes so it sort of doesn't happen so i thought it would be nice to write down the passages that i like better so whenever i want to go back to look at any books i go to my index and i see let's see what's good in a uh, um what a piece oh that's page 12 and if you see here, I'm going to write the last page when I end the book because I might need more pages. So it will say, I don't know, between page 12 and uh, 16. So I go to these pages and I look for quotes or new words or whatever. So I read them back. So I like that. Again, super simple. Just marker and different kind of washi tapes. And then here, I still have to fill this up. I want to do this for every book just write down the beginning of the book because the beginning of the book is always so nice and it's very interesting to um, match it up with, like see the differences between uh, between book. This is the last page of this setup. It's a reading log that I started just to see how it goes. But with me, like all the trackers, I cannot keep up with them. So, um, nothing i started to use it um and i just didn't i didn't follow it anymore but if you are a person that uh, uses uh, trackers and trackers actually help you keep um keep consistent uh with whatever activity or uh behavior you wanna you wanna keep up with this is a great thing to do it so you just write all the months like little calendars and you color the day that you actually read you can put also like, I don't know, uh, something like I read for 15 minutes or something like that, whatever it is that you, uh, you whatever time you wanna uh, be reading every day. So read 15 minutes here and you color every day that you actually read for 15 minutes. And again, if you use trackers, this is very useful. 
Um, so this is it. It's very. It's a very short video. I'll do a quick flip through. Um, thank you so much for for watching. And if you like this sort of video, please subscribe for more. I'm definitely gonna keep you updated on this reading journal. So far, it's, it's working very well for me. Um, I hope that get, this give you um, give you some uh, good ideas and. Um, uh, hope you have a nice day and I'll see you soon.